Good morning my dear friends. I am so glad to be with you during these first few moments of this day. And uh, the privilege of spending this time in the presence of God meditating on his word and listening to his voice. And let us see what God has to speak to us today. Today's meditation says get wisdom. It is based on Proverbs chapter 1 chapter 4 verses 1 to 5. Solomon had the great privilege to uh, grow up under a very godly father, David. God's description of David was that he was a man after God's own heart, in whom God was well pleased. to anoint him to be the king of his people Israel even at the age of 17 while he was still a shepherd one of the greatest privileges and blessings one can have in this world is to have uh, godly parents from whom you can learn godliness riches name fame influence all have their advantages but none of them can be a substitute for godliness please take note of that apostle paul said godliness with contentment is a great gain and jesus said if a man gains the whole world but loses his own soul what shall it profit a man my friends the answer to that is at the end that man who seeks to gain the world and be satisfied will ultimately lose everything including himself his soul now this is something that you need to take very seriously my friends and about G and um, growing up with uh, David the father Solomon had learned God's ways from his father that you read in uh, chapter 4 verse 3 this training in childhood equipped him uh, Solomon to pass on instructions to his own sons what does god wants from parents who claim to be godly he wants a true godliness and a commitment to his ways to be learned primarily through the teaching of parents and the examples provided in the home as a child a son or a daughter of a such godly parents will end up also as godly enjoying the good things that god brings into his or her life parents must be careful that they do not delegate this responsibility to church educational program so many parents think their ill mannered child or son or daughter or a, a son or a daughter who uh, does not respect the elderly or uh, obey obedient to the things of god as well as uh, uh, obedient to the parents they think that the church educational program will help their children to learn discipline and uh, and good manners but let me tell you a boy or a girl who is growing up in an environment of uh, ungodliness and indiscipline cannot be expected to show discipline and godliness elsewhere including the church if a child does not respect a parents they are not going to respect the pastor or their teacher 
in the church and therefore before their church education begins the family education must impart upon the children the and that the children may learn the values of life the wisdom of god is essential for a meaningful and godly life proverb chapter 4 verses 20 to 22 and chapter 3 verses 21 and 22 take down these references so please and read after this time of meditation and therefore we must seek it above all things but to attain such wisdom is not easy it is given only to those who diligently seek and pay the price for it remember when you seek wisdom gold or silver or precious stones or even diamonds can never buy wisdom remember that it come wisdom comes through two avenues so listen to these through two avenues number one it comes to a person through instructions through instruction a person will experience a spiritual transformation that involves a turning from evil and a turning to a knowledge of god many times some people think if they turn away from evil you will be all right no you will not be all right you know what that must include a turning to someone else when you leave evil you must also take in the good and which is the goodness of the lord and the presence of the lord so a uh, turning away from evil alone will not do but when you turn away from evil from the devil from ungodliness you are turning to god and to his holiness and his grace that is important for you to enjoy god's wisdom a personal relationship with god is the first step in obtaining true wisdom such a relationship means fear the lord and turn away from evil listen to that proverb read proverbs chapter 8 verse 13 and chapter 9 verse 10 and let us look into these verses 8 verse 13 says to fear the lord is the is to hate evil i hate pride and arrogance evil behavior and perverse speech and then chapter 9 verse 10 chapter 9 verse 10 says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy one is understanding so we have these three words wisdom knowledge and understanding and the wisdom begins with the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom and so read these passages again and meditate on this that you may be blessed and that is how you get your instruction and uh, how to gain wisdom follow these scriptures and secondly wisdom also a person gain through devotion wisdom is more precious than silver gold or precious jewels 
Understand that. Therefore, for a casual person who has a don't care attitude, will not receive it. Wisdom is for the person who sees the value of wisdom and therefore diligently seeks it. Proverbs 8.17 Proverbs 8.17 says I love those who love me Wisdom says and those who seek me find me. The wise person learns from instruction. Chapter 9 verse 9 which says, Instruct a wise man and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will add to his learning. And that is a wise counsel for each one of you and each one of us, my friends. A wise person, therefore, he listens. Those who value wisdom, he listens to the godly counsel of his parents and godly counsel of others, especially the ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ and those who belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. And treasure, and such a person will treasure wisdom as more precious than silver, gold, or precious jewels. Chapter three, verses fourteen to as and fifteen. Chapter three. For she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. See the value of wisdom. Hallelujah. Our wonderful and wise God wants his people to attain his wisdom so that they shall be above the rest of the people of the world. The wise person learns from instruction and from God's discipline. He accepts God's commands. Chapter 10, verse 8. Chapter 10, verse 8 says, The wise in heart accept commands, but a chattering fool comes to ruin. And sometimes, people make the mistake, especially young people make the mistake of thinking that when an elderly person give him some wise counsel, he thinks, oh, he's old-fashioned. These are not relevant these days. And then what is the result? He will end up in the midst of pigs. Remember the story of prodigal son and let us not suffer what he suffered. He at least repented later on, returned to his old father's house. Let us return to God instead of making a further mess of our lives. And listen to the godly counsel of your parents. Stern discipline awaits him who leaves the path. He who hates correction will die. And that is true, my friends. You may not die immediately, but you suffer death at the end. And your death will be the death of a fool. Because you refuse instructions. And may the Lord help us and the Holy Spirit grant you humility to accept that you need help. And treasures such a person who loves the value of wisdom. He treasures wisdom as more precious than silver or anything else. 
Jesus Christ is the supreme manifestation of the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus who has become for us wisdom from God. That is our righteousness, holiness and redemption. Therefore as it is written let him who boast boast in the Lord. Remember Jesus Christ has come and God has made him to be our wisdom to all of us. And that wisdom involves in righteousness and holiness and redemption. What a rich heritage you and I will have if we seek after the wisdom of God. And we must turn from sin and self to him sacrificing all that is necessary in order to follow him as his disciples in Matthew chapter 13 verses 44 and 46 46 let us turn to this passage as we close this meditation Matthew chapter 13 verses 44 to 46 The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field and when a man found it he hid it again and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field Again the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls When he found one of great value he went away and sold everything he had and bought it Look here is a wise man The things of value and preciousness no one like to lose it He is willing to give up and sell everything else he had in order to buy the field in which he hid the treasure and my friends in jesus christ you will find all the treasures of heaven but here it is a reference to jesus christ himself what did he do he died for the whole world for the entire humanity Why? Because in this humanity he found a treasure. What is that treasure? A bride for himself. And in order to gain her, he came and made himself a sacrifice. And that sacrifice was himself. By dying, shedding his blood, suffering he now gained that beautiful bride the greatest treasure he found in this world and one of these days he will come to claim what he gained as is he comes for his bride the church and take her away to be with him forever this is our joy may the lord bless you this morning as you meditate on these things that i have shared with you these are great lessons of great value let us go for the wisdom of god and enjoy a rich life in the name of jesus father we thank you for your blessing upon your word which you will minister to hundreds of people and i pray that each one of them shall experience something new something precious they will find in you and they will be willing to give up everything in order to attain wisdom from you thank you in jesus name amen god bless you this is a great day enjoy this day amen